and I also got some book mail and also I think I'll probably write this on my on the vlog but the book shopping was actually throughout two days I think I was able to film a bit nicer I guess on Friday on today than I did yesterday and I'm still trying to figure out how to how like know exactly when to film anyways let's get to the books so first off I'm gonna introduce the book mail that I got. So I got one book yesterday and then another book came today. So the book I got yesterday is Starfish by Akemi Don Bowman. And this one I don't know a lot about, but reading the summary, it's about a girl called Kiko Himura and she has a hard time saying what she's thinking. And I know from other reviews and stuff that she also struggles with anxiety. She she struggles with one, a mom who like really lowers her self-esteem and two, feeling connected to her Japan her half Japanese heritage. The, I think the story starts off with her not getting into it. And then on the day she finds out she's been rejected from the art school, it says her, her abusive uncle moves back in. But then a friend of her childhood friend invites her to leave their town and like tour other art schools and I think this the country no on the west coast so she jumps at the chance and then I think the book follows her from there with like learning how to it says learns transformative truths about herself her ba her past and how to be brave so yeah I bought starfish and look I'm also very excited because it's my first floppy paperback. I've never really had a floppy paperback, so I'm very excited. 
And then my other book that I bought is one that I'm super excited about. It's called Jade Fire Gold. And I am super excited to read this book. Uh, I don't know exactly what goes on. All I heard was that it's inspired by Chinese wuxia. And I was like, sign me the heck up. So <clears throat> this, reading the summary, there's two characters, the girl named An and a guy named Alton. And An is no one, but she has a mysterious dark magic within her. And then it gets exposed and she's sent to the Imperial Palace. And then Alton, I think he used to be the prince of the country here, but then after his parents were murdered, he kind of got dethroned. So then he's living under a new name and he wants to get revenge. And I think also take back the throne, obviously. And then he finds out about An and her power. So he decides, they decide to team up. The problem this one mentions is their tenuous alliance is on the verge of becoming something more when the depth of An's dark powers are awakened and the two realize restoring the empire might come at a far deadlier price than they could have ever imagined. So yeah, very, very excited. Super pretty, like look at that. And like, look at the spine, look at that, so fancy. And then this part is also like that fancy stuff. The hard cut, it's just a simple yellow, but then the spine is like so pretty. But yeah, I, yeah, I kind of bought this book without knowing what goes into it, other than the fact that it's inspired by Chinese, the Chinese martial art, um, martial arts genre called wuxia or Xianxia. I, I don't I don't think I'm pronouncing those right, but but anyways, I read it was that and I was like, okay, I'm definitely gonna buy it because during my reading slump when I wasn't reading books, I, I actually read a lot of Chinese and Korean web novels, but I'm pretty into it. I still am. So when I found out that that was like that, I was, I was like, oh my gosh, I definitely need to get the book. So yeah, those are the two books I got for my book mail. Starfish Jade Fire Gold. So looking forward to reading that. And then for the books I got in the bookstore, um, I bought two classics, surprisingly, because I'm generally not into classics, or at least the classics I end up reading, they just weren't for me. But and I know people always say, don't judge a book by its cover, but nowadays I'm like, I 100% judge a book by its cover. Or if the book sounds interesting and I know there are other editions, I will definitely try to get the prettier, the one that I, th I think is prettier. So this is literally why I bought these two classics. I mean, I'm also interested in reading them, like, <clears throat> like the genre and just because I've heard stuff about it. So like, but also the... The covers are just so pretty. So on Thursday, I bought Dracula. Look at this, so pretty. Anya Sujinchi is so, so pretty. And look, bam, look at the back. Look at that, look at that art. It's just so pretty. And then they have art here. And then I didn't realize this until I got the other book today, but look at that, look at that so pretty so i got dracula by bram stoker and i got the penguin deluxe edition and look at the edges look at that it's just this part of the book but i just love when books are like this too so i bought it and i'm also pretty excited to read dracula well most well known like gothic maybe horror classics but dracula very excited to read that uh i don't know what it's about by the way I don't, I don't even know if there's a summary for this book. I never even read the summary if there is one. I just know it's about Count Dracula, who's a vampire. <laughs> That's it. So we'll see. I don't even know who like it follows or who the main characters are. And I just learned from like paging through the books that it's epistolary novel, that it's told in letters. So I was like, oh, that's new. And then today I went back <laughs> and then bought 
Jane Eyre of the same deluxe edition. Cause look, look at that. And look, the lamp is so shiny. Look at that. Just look, right? And then, boom. So, so pretty. Like, I'm just, ugh, I, I'm just in love with, with this, with this art style for the cover. So yeah, I bought these two classics of the same edition and by the same artist, Deluxe Edition. I am very excited to read both of them. Yeah, so those are just, so those are the books I got. Uh, half were from book shopping and half were from book mail. So yeah, those are the four books that I got today. Uh, I'm very, very excited. And you know, if it's, and also if a book is pretty, I'm obviously as, I'm going to be as excited as I am now to read it. And if it's like a classic, I mean, I I do want to read more classics too. So there is that. I was hoping this edition would have like the picture of Dorian Gray version of it. Unfortunately, it doesn't. But still, I got two pretty books over there. Mm. Oops. Yeah. And I'm very, ah, I'm so excited to read this book. Oh, I'm so excited. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this book shopping vlog and also a mini haul. Let me know what you guys thought of, like, if you read any of these books and what your thoughts on it and all that. But yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, See you next video. Bye. Oh, also, I hope... The audio was a bit better here. I tried talking a bit louder. I tried having my phone a bit closer. Um, I'll try to have captions for this one at least because I do have a bit more time than I did last time. But uh, do let me know if the audio seems a bit louder. I'm also trying to figure out, it's through my phone. So I guess the phone microphone doesn't work when it's kind of far. And I am trying to figure out how to, like I'm looking up, um, I saw some places for those like the pin microphones here and yeah so do let me know about the audio i'm gonna try to figure something out about that but thank you for watching